Hey everyone, welcome again. Today we're exploring some amazing features of Wondershare Filmora that will take your videos to the next level. Animated subtitles, which effortlessly convert your audio into synchronized animated subtitles. Audio-driven text to sync your text with audio and the AI voice changer to add unique effects to your audio clips. Let's roll the intro. Open Wondershare Filmora. This is the project I've been working on. I am one with the force and the force is with me. And as you can see, I have an audio file that I'll be using for this tutorial. To create animated subtitles, right click on your audio file and choose speech to text. A new window will pop up. Here you need to choose the language of your audio. I'm using English, US. For the translation option, select no translation. You have the option to convert either the selected clips or the entire timeline. Since my audio clip is relatively short, I'll go with the entire timeline sequence. Now, an important step is to check the box that says add automatically active words. This feature will convert your titles into animated subtitles by highlighting the active words in sync with the audio. By default, it will select the titles and then start the conversion process. It should only take a few seconds, depending on the length of your audio file. Once the conversion is complete, You'll see the subtitles appear along with the audio, perfectly synced. I am one with the force, and the force is with me. Now select your subtitle layer and click on the settings icon. From here, you can adjust the position and scale of your subtitles. Let's position the subtitles right in the center of the screen to keep them in focus. I'll apply the same settings for the first subtitle to ensure consistency. I am one with the force, and the force is with me. Next, go to the Titles tab. Here you'll find a variety of presets to choose from. Select any preset that catches your eye and click Apply to All. A prompt will appear asking if you want to apply the changes to all subtitles. Check Don't Ask Again and hit Apply. This will give your subtitles a cohesive look. I am one with the force, and the force is with me. If you're not satisfied with the first preset, feel free to experiment with others until you find one that suits your style. I am one with the force and the force is with me. Once you've selected a preset, go to the basic tab. Here you can change the color of the active words to make them stand out. I'll choose a light green for a fresh look. Click apply and now your subtitles have a new appearance. Additionally, you can customize the font style color and size to create a unique style that fits your project. This effect not only enhances the visual appeal, but also improves accessibility for viewers. Great, let's dive into creating audio-driven text. First, let's check out the voice clip I'll be using for this tutorial. If we are going to win this fight, some of us might have to lose it. Great, let's do this. Head over to the title section and scroll all the way down to the bottom until you find the title templates. Here, you'll see the option for audio-driven text. Click on it to reveal a variety of text animations specifically designed to sync with audio. You'll notice a bunch of text animations that can add a shake effect to your text, making it more dynamic and engaging. Feel free to try out any of these options. For this tutorial, let's scroll down to the bottom and choose this particular animation. Simply click on it, grab it, and drop it onto the timeline. Next, make sure to trim your text layer to match the duration of your audio file. This ensures that the text animation is perfectly synced with the audio. If we are going to win this fight, some of us might have to lose it. If we are going to win this fight, some of us might have to lose it. Great! You can see that the text is already shaking in sync with the audio. This effect can also be applied to music tracks if you want to add a visual element to your tunes. If you need to edit the text, simply double click on the text layer. You can then change the text to whatever you like. For example, let me replace this line and adjust the spacing a bit. I'll set the font size to around 18 for now. Scroll to the bottom and you'll find a variety of text preset options here. You can try any of these presets or create your own custom style. Let's increase the text size to around 36 and apply another preset. Great, I think this one looks good. Remember, you can always change the font size and type if you want. Let's stick with this one for now and see how it looks. You can also change the font to a different one. 
I am going to use this one. If we are going to win this fight, some of us might have to lose it. Now, one more thing. You can also use this feature to create subtitles. Here's how you can do it. First, trim your text layer to fit your audio. Then, remove the bottom line by pressing Control or Command plus X. Now, let's place the second line at a different time. To do this, make a duplicate of the text layer by right-clicking on it and selecting Duplicate. Position the duplicate layer where you want the second line to appear and replace the text with the new line. Adjust the length of this new text layer to match the audio and you're done. See how easy that was? If we are going to win this fight, some of us might have to lose it. By following these if steps, you can create multiple audio-driven text layers using Wondershare Filmora. Great, let's dive into the voice changer feature this is the voice clip that I'll be using. You don't know the power of the dark side. Now, head over to the effects section and scroll down to the bottom where you'll find the audio effects. Here you'll see the voice changer option. These effects can be used to add various modifications to your audio. Hit play on your imagination. To get started, simply select any of the voice changer effects and drag it onto your audio file. You don't know the power of the dark side. Once applied, double click on your audio file to bring up the voice changer settings. You'll find a variety of options to choose from. Let's play around with each one to see which effect you like best. You don't know the power of the dark side. You don't know the power of the dark side. You don't know the power of the dark side. You don't know. You don't know the. You don't. These know voice the filters you offer a wide know. range of transformations. Additionally. Within the voice changer, you will find the voice character option. This feature allows you to create your own dubbing characters and assign them different voices, adding a unique touch to your project. Let's try selecting the hacker voice effect. You don't know the power of the dark side. Under Audio Basic, feel free to adjust the pitch. You can further modify the voice to get the exact sound you're looking you for. Perfect. I think this one sounds great. You These are some of the latest the updates in Wondershare side. Filmora. Feel free to explore and experiment with any of these options to find the perfect voice effect for your project. So this was the latest update of Wondershare Filmora. Download Filmora today and get ready to transform your video editing experience. Check the first link in the description. Thank you for watching this video. I will see you in the next one. Till then, good luck and peace.